In this episode, I'm going to show you the concept of routes. So you can have a specific custom routes in your October CMS. And also we are going to be using those routes to uh, seed our database. So we already did the seeding of the database. As you could see, it was a bit complicated. Also, uh, that type of seeding will destroy all other information in your database. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how you can seed your database through a route, uh, but without losing any other content. So uh, in our case, we are going to seed the actors uh, database or actors table, but we won't lose all the hundred movies that we seeded before. Uh, as you will see, this is actually pretty, pretty easy. As I said many times before, October is based on Laravel and in Laravel, uh, the routes are the basic thing you need uh, to make any uh, your web application or website work. So I would suggest that you check out this routing for Laravel, see how that works. And also you have a router for CMS, so it's uh, not uh, such a comprehensive documentation, but you can see what you can do. So you can make uh, get routes, post routes, put routes, delete routes, and so on. We are not going to go into details in this episode, although we are going to be using routes uh, once we get uh, uh, to the episodes where we will use Vue.js and October CMS to create some kind of single page application because as you will see, routes are great for creating APIs, which you can connect to with uh, some JavaScript. So this is the code for route. Let's just copy this. Okay, and now what you need to do uh, is you need to go to any of your plugins, but since we are doing movies, we are going to go to our movie plugin and I'm going to create a file called routes.php. So you have to create it in the root of your plugin. So watch, learn movies. And now here where is plugin.php, you create file called routes.php. Okay, now you just um, set your PHP tags. And now I will just copy, uh, actually paste uh, the thing from October CMS's website. So what this is telling October, so when someone goes to your homepage, then return hello world. This is the homepage. So this is the root of your site. We are not going to go to the root of our site because there's our homepage there. So no need for that, but we can create another route and we will call it hello. Okay, so now if I go to my website and I do hello, as you can see, I get hello world. So pretty easy. You can return that, but of course in this file, you can do whatever kind of PHP logic you want. Also, you can connect to your models. You can connect to your vendors. So to your other plugins. And in this case, we are going to see the database. So we are going to be using a faker plugin through this, as you will see, it will be easier than what we did, uh, when we created, <clears throat> when we see that our movies. So we are not going to create a special file for that. We are just going to return this anonymous function and that function is going to do something for us. But let's first do some examples so you can see what routes can actually do. So first of all, I'm just going to use my movie model. Okay, and now instead of returning hello world, I'm just going to return all of my movies and you will see with, uh, where this uh, API part comes from. So since October and Laravel are uh, REST based frameworks, uh, whenever you return something from a route, it's automatically going to uh, convert that to JSON and it's going to display the data that way. So you can uh, then connect to that route and uh, take all the data from that page via either PHP, or JavaScript or whatever other kind of language you want, which supports JSON. So let's return all the movies. 
okay save this and if i go to hello right now as you can see i get all the movies that i have so i get idea of the movie name of the movie description year and so on okay let's uh, try this so let's get all the movies but order them by year and paginate them And if I go right here now, refresh it, as you can see, we get first the 20 movies, but uh, up here we get all the information that we need for the pagination. So you can also connect to that and create your pagination via JavaScript, for example. So as you can see, this is the same code that we used in the previous uh, episode of October, uh, where we uh, did a similar thing on in our PHP block. So you can use whatever kind of PHP code you need right here. Okay, so the <clears throat> point of this episode is to, uh, to seed actors. So how we will do that? We already seeded movies, and if we check uh, this, file right here so in updates we have this cd.php where we seeded our movies but we had to go to our console and then refresh all the plugins and all the data would be lost the movies would be seeded but it worked uh, that way uh, in this episode we are not going to do it that way we are going to do it uh, through a route and uh, i'm just going to actually copy all of this from the seeder so you can see how similar this is except we are not going to be extending this class we are also not going to use the run function uh, because when you hit the route uh, everything that is right here so in this anonymous function it's going to get executed so we don't need a run function i'm just going to paste that in uh, we don't need description and year <clears throat> i'm sorry uh, we only need name and last name. Okay. Uh, and also, so we have this for each right here. Uh, we have the faker. Uh, instead of movies, since we are not creating movies, we are creating uh, actors. I'm just going to add, uh, actually use the actor model. Okay. And I'm going to uh, rename this route to be uh, seed actors. Okay, now we define faker. Uh, we uh, create a for each loop, which is going to create a hundred actors. And it's not going to create movies, but actors. And the actor has name and last name. Okay, and now we can use faker to create those name and last names. We also don't need this name variable because we use that so that our slug and the title of the movie would be the same. So instead of that, we are going to use just uh, faker. And for last name, we are going to use faker last name. Okay. And now we are just going to return uh, actors created. So just a simple message so that uh, we know when this uh, script is done running. And I think that should actually be it. Okay, we save this. Uh, but we are going to get an exception for this. Uh, we are going to deal with it. But I just want to show you. So if you run in something like that, you know what to do. Okay, so we go to our routes. And what did we call our route? Seed actors. Okay, seed actors. And enter. Okay, now uh, we get this uh, error. And it says throw new mass assignment exception. Uh, so this is a, a mass assignment exception and that means that we didn't set our name and last name uh, fields to be fillable. This is something that usually happens to people uh, new to Laravel or, or October because you have to make those fields fillable so that we can mass assign uh, the values of uh, those columns in our database and to do that we will just go to models so movie models actor 
and at the end of the uh, at the end of the actor file so actor model we are just going to add protected fillable And that should be it. So we are just telling October, okay, these fields are fillable and are ready for my assignment. So don't worry about that. Save this and let's try this now. And as you can see, it says actors created. So this right here finished running and it returned actors created. Let's check it out. So if I go to backend, We go to movies and then we go to actors. We should see 100 actors right here created with um, Faker plugin. As you can see, these names look legit. So uh, it works okay. As you can see, this is a much better and easier way to seed your database without losing anything. Okay, so this has been it for this episode. Uh, remember, everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, maybe subscribe to it. If you want to ask me questions, follow me on Facebook or on Twitter. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next episode.